Hello everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics and we're here today to talk about Yolink's smart water valve and water protection system. Hello everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics and we're here today to put on the Yolink smart water valve. What we did is we cut off the end of the plumbing runs and we've dry fitted a connection. We'll glue that on and then we'll put the valve into operation. Yolink is one of the most economical water protection systems in the marketplace. They're approximately one-third the cost of Moen or Finn, two of the major players in this space. They have two major types of water valves. One is a physical valve that connects to the water pipe with this connector right here. This part here connects to your water valve and would turn on and off and change the position of the valve depending upon what the water sensor detects. Also have a picture on the screen of the ball cock valve that they make that would require you to cut open the plumbing system and install the valve. They have two types of sensors, a contact sensor with contacts on the top and contact sensors on the bottom. They also have a water sensor leak, water leak sensor 2, which allows you to plug in a probe, and if that probe detected water, the sensor would activate and cause the valve to close. This is the redesigned cable from Yolink. Pretty excited about that. Their original cable had problems laying flat. This is more of a nylon type material that allows it to lay flat. There are other cables in the marketplace. This one is Residio. It is compatible with the Yolink water system, but considerably more expensive than Yolink's cable. As we mentioned earlier, Finn is a major player in this space too, and they also have water sensors and cables, except that this particular water cable is not compatible with the Yolink water detection system. I thought we would go through the process of showing these sensors in action. We have also paired these with an Alexa routine so that when the sensor detects water, it will activate a routine on the Alexa smart speaker. So what we're going to do is turn on the house water and show you how quickly these sensors act. So if this cable got wet, it would send an alarm and it was previously wet. We have a problem. There's a water leak detected at the master toilet. Check immediately. We have a problem. There's a water leak detected at the master toilet. Check immediately. Now, that's thousands of dollars of damage in your house. If, if you had a water leak, and that water was not detected and shut off immediately like this, that's thousands of dollars. Not, it doesn't matter if your insurance covers that, the hassle of having to have all that repaired. One shopping trip away from your house, four hours, how much water do you think is gonna run and how much damage do you think is gonna be done? For a few hundred dollars, you can put in a water leak detection system that would protect your home. They have a smart app just like all the other ones, but I've also tied that into an Alexa routine, so I don't really need to use the app. On the app right here, you can see that the water valves have both been closed. The physical valve and the ball cock valve have both been closed. Now I'll tell Alexa to turn the water on. Alexa, turn on water. Yes, boss, turning on the house water. Are you sure you fixed the leak? There you go, just like that. I mean, just within a few seconds, the water's back on. If you want to turn the water off by voice, you can do that too. Alexa, turn off the water. Yes, boss, turning off the house water. Hope you're not thirsty. There you go. Alexa, turn on the water. Yes, boss, turning on the house water. Are you sure you fixed the leak? 
It's really that simple. So the contact sensor will show you that one in action too. We're going to make sure both valves are open presently. So we're opening back up the other valve. And what will happen is if these contacts come into contact with water, I don't know if you can see a little red light went off on the contact sensor. We have a problem. There's a water leak detected at the master sink. Check immediately. And so what that did, both valves are paired, the one that's actually in line with the house water and the bulldog valve were both practically instantly activated. And you can see on the phone itself, both of those valves are in the closed position. Alexa, turn on the water. Yes, boss. Turning on the house water. Are you sure you fixed the leak? One other point I wanted to show you is these come with a battery pack. I recommend putting lithium batteries in the battery pack and it will also show you the status of the batteries on the app itself. They also make a power supply that you can plug directly into house power if you want to do that. Another neat feature of the Yolink water systems is that use something called LoRa. LoRa is a spread spectrum frequency technology that the military also uses for low power signals that can transmit over long distances and be detected up to a thousand feet on these sensors to the water valve. So you could have these separated up to a thousand feet apart and it would still make the connection. The other thing interesting about this is, and we have a video linked above about pairing these, but they're really simple to pair and all you do is hold down the connect button here and the set button here and they both blink green and they immediately connect. The neat thing about that is you don't even need an application, you don't need internet, you don't need house power, and these water sensors would still protect your home. So let's say your internet went down, your house power went down, you lost your phone, it doesn't matter. The water sensors will still activate once they get wet and still control the valves independent of all of the problem. technology. There's a water leak detected at the master sink. Check immediately. And that's another thing to keep in mind. If these water sensors stay wet, you're going to keep getting alarm activations and it's going to keep controlling the valve. So that's an important point with these cables. If these cables get wet, What's going to happen is until this cable completely dries out, you can see right here the cable is not in water. If you plug that in, it's going to activate that alarm and it's going to activate the valve. We have a problem. So, There's a water leak detected at the master toilet. Check immediately. So you're going to have to unplug these cables and let them dry out before you can plug them back in. Or maybe have a spare cable that you could actually plug into the sensor and replace the one that's wet. That concludes our video demonstration. We showed you the different types of sensors, we showed you the application, we showed you it being used with an Alexa routine. Please hit the like button, share and subscribe. This supports our efforts in helping others with technology and have a great and wonderful automation day.